Aquaponics is a fairly new to most food production technology that is a combination of hydroponics on the one end and aquaculture on the other. So in other words, we're farming in water, but we are using nutrient, soluble nutrient, bioavailable soluble nutrient that's coming from, a f from fish as the nutrient source. We pretty much live off our own food produce. We are not a commercial aquaponics facility in the sense that we don't generally sell the produce that we produce. It's really to give our family the freedom to walk in here at any time and pick and eat without the, the worry or the care or the risk of any chemical contamination whatsoever. There's no chemicals used on the system. And in fact, the moment you used any chemicals, you'd kill the system. So uh, it's self-regulating in that sense. Aquaponics is still in its infancy. It's, a, it's an industry that only s started up in the 1990s and then as, as a research industry. So it hasn't even been going for 20 years yet. And already internationally, there's some massive examples of successful commercial aquaponics facilities. So it's, it's not that aquaponics lacks anything. It's that aquaponics just hasn't yet um, got enough inertia that it, is, that it has become well known but it's certainly moving in that direction. If you just look at what's happened four years ago when we erected this facility, there was virtually no aquaponics in South Africa. Now there are perhaps 10 commercial facilities and there are equally as many on paper that are being designed and planned. We sell our produce to restaurants in Grahamstown. Um, we also have a deli that we supply but it's, it's mostly to uh, wholesalers who then sell it on to other people, either, either as a final product or as a, an item to be added into their meal while they're preparing their own meal. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so I don't think that someone is conspiring against us in terms of limiting our information with regards to aquaponics. But I do think that simple economics dictates that those who have a vested interest in conventional and commercial agriculture are not motivated to inform us about the potential of aquaponics. So you will never find a chemical salesman coming to tell you about aquaponics or a fertilizer salesman or a tractor salesman or, or someone who's running a logistics company. No one is really, no one who has a vested interest in commercial agriculture or in the value chain that's involved in commercial agriculture is actually interested in aquaponics because what aquaponics will do, it will undo their businesses. So. I think part of the reason we're not hearing a lot about it is because there are not a lot of people who are motivated to tell us about it. So because aquaponics represents such a powerful food production technology, it has the power to transform communities. And as such, it can create economy and uh, activity. It, it, it can create um, enterprise within rural communities, impoverished communities, and vulnerable communities and, and as such I am linked and we are we are partnered with an organization called Fly Fishing Collaborative based in Oregon in America where fly fishing the fly fishing fraternity fund a certain amount of aquaponic systems which are installed right up across the world we are partnered with them they've done their training with us and we are engaged with them in terms of installations of aquaponics units in for example safe houses so we have conscious that aquaponics, because it is such a powerful food production technology, it can create sustainable ways to create enterprise and, and economy in communities that might be tempted or might end up, or people who might end up in, in, uh, in vulnerable situation and in, in abusive situations. I was recently up in the Northern Cape. I've assisted facilities in KwaZulu-Natal, Gauteng, Southern Cape, Western Cape. Uh, many systems around the country and also started assisting in other countries, uh, Botswana, Namibia and so forth as well. Um, most facilities starting out are starting out on a fairly large scale. We are currently busy with a facility that is, is pegged to be 34 hectares in area, all under aquaponics. So I think it's inevitable that in the near future we'll start seeing very large aquaponics facilities. We've also recently launched the Aquaponics Association of South Africa and I was elected chair of that body. And the, the purpose of that body is in fact to develop 
aquaponics in Southern Africa to the benefit of are. members? For I personally believe very strongly in the power of one. What I mean by that is that when each of us makes a change, collectively we're making a massive change. I think aquaponics has limitations in terms of its ability to be rolled out commercially by big commercial farmers um, because it has uh, there is a cost associated to the setup and uh, while it's still viable in those situations I think it will be it's going to be a long time before that happens however if every single one of us rolls out and puts in a small domestic type uh, aquaponics unit in our own homes so that we're not having to buy at supermarkets we're not having to walk into wholesales or into commercial stores then we are starting to change the world and my vision is for everybody to be growing their own food to step away from the convenience of walking into a supermarket and rather choose the convenience of growing it yourself when you grow it yourself you've got no doubt you've got no questions to ask about what's gone into that food you know what went into it because you grew it you know what's gone into your food and that is a responsible attitude to take whether it's just looking at the food that you eat or whether it's the food that you supply to your, your children or to, your, to your, the people that work around with you. Essentially, if we all choose to use aquaponics and it's doable and we've proved it and we can show it, then yes, it can change the world. It can change the way that we impact the environment because then what happens is that the necessity for big commercial farms no longer exists. So we can allow forests to be forests. We can allow nature to be nature, while we, in our little spot where we're living, can grow our own food. And I think that that has the power to change the world and to, be, to make the difference that I think we're looking for. If we're looking for some macro solution for someone to come along and save us and put in a big commercial aquaponics system and supply us all with commercial aquaponics food, well, for, for one, we're going to pay a fortune for that food. And we're going we're gonna to keep spending fuel and money and everything else, carbon footprint, on getting to the supermarket and getting that food. It is so easy. We harvest our rainwater, we grow our own food, and we grow it at home. That way, we're making a positive change to the world. So it's not necessarily about commercial aquaponics that will make an, an impact on the world. I think it has a, the power to change lives by the power of one.